hello everyone very warm welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you the steps as how you can fine tune or in other words train this f5 tts model on your own custom voice data set if you don't know what this f5 tts is please go to my channel and just search with f5 and you should be able to see two videos there one is for installation on windows and the other one is installation on linux or mac based systems i also have gone into detail as what exactly these models are capable of their architecture and lot of other information which you are going to find useful so if you are just looking to do inference with it or you are just looking to see how this model works and create some voice samples i would suggest go to these videos which you are watching on your screen but if you are looking to fine tune or in other words train this model on your own custom data set keep watching this video now before i move forward let me give a huge thanks to mast compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on good prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description please check them out and i will also give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount which is in the video's description which you can use for range of gpus okay so let's go back to this f5 tts and let's see how you can train this model on your own data set now first and foremost please be aware that you cannot fine tune a lora on top of this model what it means is that you cannot simply freeze the original weights of these models and then create a simple adapter on top of it which we normally do to keep the size shorter to make it quicker and cheaper you have to do the full fine tuning or you have to in other words train the whole model again from scratch on your own data set which means that you would need a full voice data set plus you would need a multi -GP, either multi gpu setup or single gpu setup but it is going to take weeks if not days or maybe you know multi week setup to get this uh, trend so this is not something which you can do in few hours and this is not something which you will be able to do cheaply this is going to cost you uh, a good deal of money i can't tell you how much because the thing is that it depends if you are using the local setup or if you are using any cloud-based setup uh, i can't tell you that if you are doing it local then of course you would need to t you know keep in perspective the heating cooling and all that stuff but in simple words remember that this is not going to be completed anytime soon which i think is a limitation of this model hopefully this will get fixed in the future when we would be able to fine tune the loras on top of the model so that we don't have to wait for the that long that is simple and easier uh, instead of just retraining the model from scratch anyway but if you still uh, are willing to do so and you have the setup and for setup when i say maybe you can just use a100 uh, with you know gpu or h100 gpu and but i would suggest if you are really looking to do it for a production environment for a real use case go with a multi gpu setup and then do it in a proper way and even then it will take going to take uh, maybe a couple of weeks or maybe a week at least to get a good result out of data make sure that your data set is right and i will give you all the steps not only i will show you the steps here um, i will also put them in my website and, and i will drop the link to it in video description so that you can also follow along i'm not going to fine tune or train the model here because i don't first i don't have the setup to be honest secondly i don't have the time uh, i can't really sit for weeks here and just to see how, how it goes but anyway um, we will do the second best thing and we will show you the whole end-to-end -end process now having said that the data um, just a one word on this f5 tts model it is a fully non-auto regressive text-to-speech model by the way and it is based on flow matching with diffusion transformer and it doesn't require any complex design such as duration model text encoder or uh, phoneme alignment the text input is simply padded with filler tokens to the same length as input speech and then the denoising is performed for speech generation so this is uh, and but there are few challenges with the previous e2 version where they have um, 
fix those issues in this F51. Their sampling strategy for flow setup can also be applied to existing flow matching based models without retraining, which is quite good. But uh, anyway, that is for another video. So let's see how it goes. The data set which I am going to use for these sample is this Emilia data set, which is a free data set which is available on the hugging face. This Emilia data set is quite comprehensive multilingual data set with the um, with, which contains over 101,000 hours of speech data. It's very huge. So I think it is going to take a lot of this space. I think it is in few terabytes if I'm not wrong because just 5 GB, uh, first 5 GB is around 5 gig. So it is quite big. Anyway, it this Emilia data set covers six different languages, English, Chinese, German, French, Japanese, and Korean. But of course, if you're just looking for do in any one language, you can just simply take the subset out of this, but you have to download the whole data set as I think. Um, the model F5 TTS is mainly geared towards Chinese and English, by the way. So if you're looking to fine tune it on your own language, I will also show you the way how you can do the same by following uh, the same commands. So uh, this is a data set which, we, which I'll be showing you. So that is all done. Now let me take you to the steps. So these are the steps which I have written. As I said, I will also share these steps in my blog and I will give you the link. So first step, clone the repo of this F5 TTS. So simply git, of course, you need to have git installed on your local system. <clears throat> Second step, you need to download the model, which is the F5 TTS. If you are also looking to train E2, you can also download it. So how do you do that? So you have git clone this repo and you can see that I have opened this repo in VS code. You see on the left hand side, this is my F5 repo. So click on CKPTS. You need to download your model in this directory. So in order to download it first CD to that directory, and then you need to make this directory, which is called as F5 TTS underscore base. Make sure the name and case is identical. Once that's done, just run this command to download the model in this directory. And this is the model. So if I, go to hugging face go to files go down and then ftts base this is a file i'm downloading the safe tensor one not the uh the spy torch one okay um, you can do that too if you like anyway so let's go back so model is there now next up let we need to change these two files to give the model path wherever you have stored it so for example if i have stored it on um, my home Ubuntu directory. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this train.py, which you can see on the left hand side, the last file, and then go to line number 75. You can see there I am. And then give the path here. And then similarly, go back and then you see, also open this file models trainer.py. You see there is a model directory. There is a trainer.py directory. And then in this one in line number 94 change make sure that you give the f5 tts instead of this one so make sure that you change these model uh, paths here okay so once that's done we have uh, also fixed these files next create a virtual environment with conda i would highly suggest you do that so that you don't disturb any other settings on your system install all of these prerequisites and then download the data set this is the emilia data set which we are downloading for that simply launch your python interpreter i will just write here launch python interpreter you can also uh, include this in the any python file but let's do it through of course it's a big data set just include it in a python file and then maybe run that file just this code so what this code is doing it is loading this emilia data set from hugging face and then it is saving to disk at this path then we need to prepare the data set now uh, we are using the emilia data set if you want to use use your own data set i will uh, shortly tell you what you can do let me go through this first just run this command python script to prepare emilia and then there is another data set if you want you can also use this one vtet speech for tts once data set is ready you now have your model ready your data set ready just run the training with this accelerate config and launch it and then it is going to run for weeks now if you want to use um, 
multi GPU setup, just change this config uh, with going just use multi G just use this multi GPU or floating per 16 if you want to go half precision. These are different, of course, customization, and there are a lot of other things which you can do, but we are keeping it simple. Now, the burning question is if you want to use your own data set, how do you do that? The simplest way is to go to Hugging Face. Go to this Emilia dataset and if you go up here, you will see that this is the format of this dataset. This format is called as Parquet. So uh, when you download it, so all you need to do is to make sure that whatever dataset you have, it has your these columns here. It is key, URL and let me make it a bit smaller and I'll show you. Okay, so you see, make sure your dataset has key then it has a url it has json it has mp3 file in audio that's all you need to do so if you even scroll to right you will see these are the so make sure your data set has these columns it's with the identical names and then you can just give any values of your choice here so main thing will be of course your mp3 files so once you have whatever for example you have 20 sample 40 sample 100 samples you can give it there and then you can use the epochs or whatever to make passes on that data set. So create your data set, upload it to Hugging Face or just put it in your local folder like here. Then just give uh, the path here where, and then go to this prepare Emilia, change the path, point it to your own data set, same here, off you go. That is all you needed to do. So, and um, we already have saved the disk here. So this is all you needed to do here. Also, they also have this data directory, put your data here if you like, and then use it from here. So this is how simple it is. So you see, fine tuning, or in other words, in this case, training, the model or the full fine tuning is not that hard. As long as you follow these steps, of course, there might be here and there few tidbits. The real thing is the resources you would need quite a good resources for this plus you would need some time and of course you would need good quality audio uh, because garbage in garbage out so don't expect f5 tts or any other model to fix your bad quality audio so that's it i hope this was useful before i go let me also introduce our sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.